So this is the creativity section of our presentation. So it started off, they have a 480 page book on creativity, which, or sorry, culture, which shows you, you know, how serious they take the culture of their company. Um, as you can see, they have a lot of spontaneity and relaxation. This is the CEO, Tony, and he's in his office and he has a bunch of desks grouped together and he kind of has a jungle thing going on. And the different departments are allowed to have different themes so the employees can express themselves. Um, and Zappos also creates happiness internally, one of their core values, by providing free lunch from vending machines for the employees. So they keep them relaxed and happy, which is why their performance does very well. So just to talk about the impact on production some more, um, Tony believes that just brief distractions are good for the company, just like the, profes the professor said in lecture. You know, if you're writing an essay or doing a big project and you take a small break, you can come back refocused and your, your work is going to be better. And they actually have a nap room for the employees. They're allowed to take 20 minute naps during the day to still provide them with some relaxation. So that's a very unique part of their culture. And managers, which is interesting, are actually required to spend 15% of their time taking employees out of the office. So that's part of their job title. And, you know, if they don't do that, they can Okay, so employee loyalty, um, the, the employees of Zappos are very loyal towards the company. Um, they feel like job satisfaction, being happy at the job, will also impact their customers and will lead to the customers also being loyalty or being loyal to the company. Um, they want to be a company that people love doing business with. So that's everybody that they um, work with, their vendors, their maintenance workers, everybody who they work with. Um, so their job satisfaction, uh, one of the maintenance workers was actually offered a higher paying job to go paint houses and he actually declined that job because he felt like he wouldn't be as happy as he was when he was working with Zappos. Um, they feel like they give their employees personal attention and the employees also give their customers personal attention. 
The longest phone call is actually five hours and 25 minutes and 31 seconds. They don't have a time limit. They feel like they want to they want to interact with their customers. The phone call originally was out about a shoe that was the wrong size that she wanted to send back, and then it went on to the customer had a bad day, and so she just talked. And they really feel like if the customer is happy, they will continue to um, talk about it. And then when they had to lay off some employees, they they felt really bad, and they offered a generous severance package because they didn't want their employees to leave unhappy. Okay, link to performance. Um, we believe Zappos, OC, has led them to strong performance. They utilize Zimson's metal, which is um, adaptability, mission, consistency, and involvement. We believe these four components intersect with uh, companies' strong performance. Some key points of the four components of Denison's model is Zappos employees work hard to ensure each customer is taken care of carefully. And this is consistency because each customer is treated the same, as well as their mission, which is nothing not about products, but all about the customers. They utilize their mission effectively. Also, Zappos employees are adaptable to each situation they encounter. As Holly mentioned earlier, the longest phone call was five hours. So each different situation may be small or long, but the customers are treated equally and they really use these time. Oh, I have a question. Uh, who is Denison? Denison is a guy that, that did organizational theory and he came up with the model of these so components. Zappos use the model of Zappos. We believe Zappos utilize each component because they tie in, this, there's a parallel link to like each, um, each aspect of the model and we see it with um, Zappos um, culture. And finally, Zappos core values call for building a positive team and family spirit, which is Zappos involvement. Amazon bought um, Zappos first. Everyone knows Amazon is the world, world's largest online retailer. They bought Zappos because they're really, they took interest in their um, culture because Amazon as well has a strong culture for um, a strong niche for customer and their happiness. So that played a role in the acquisition, which is a company buying another company. So Amazon bought Zappos, which and they love their OC and wanted to combine and they share similar cultures and wanted to expand.